this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm doing a Dollar Tree and Ollie's haul. So let's get started. So of course I went to Dollar Tree and Ollie's. They're, they're side by side. And so it's really tempting for you to not only just go to one store, but also go to the other store as well. So I just went in to look around and this is what I found. I always go to the napkin section because when I go, when I do a Dollar Tree haul or any type of store haul, I always keep it crafty. And I always go to the napkin section. So look what I found. I, I have this obsession with butterflies and flowers. And I love the way this looks. I think this will be nice in the card. Um, so I may end up doing a card tutorial for this one. So stay tuned for that. But this is cute for Mod Podging too, so we'll see what happens with that one. This one, I think I have um, had some of these in my stash. I picked up more only because I think we used them for a barbecue last year for the 4th of July. So that I don't have any more, so I wanted to pick this one up. And I really like this because I can take the star and cut it out and Mod Podge it to something, or I can use this and just make a whole card out of this. So I think this will be a great one for 4th of July, Veterans Day, um, if you're doing something for the military or service um, men you can, or, and women, you can use this as well. So I'm really liking that. I think a greeting card would be nice with that one. And then I found um, a few new things in the sticker section. And when I'm thinking about these, those envelope flip books that I usually do or maybe even something like a Brenda album uh, you can use these stickers or if you're doing even a card these will look nice popped up on a card and I like this peach and green color with just a little bit of brown I'm really loving the way that looks and this is the Jot brand, brand which I always um, see in Dollar Tree and this is 40 count stickers it's called Life's a Party and this says love, hope, um, faith. I think these will look really cute on a card or even a some kind of album. Okay, let's see what else I got. More stickers. I found mostly stickers, and these are like glittery stickers because it has little, little tiny glittered uh, gold embellishments. And I really fell in love with this butterfly. And look at this little tiny gift tag with coffee on it. So all of my favorite things, nice variety. I had not seen these before. And so I love this. Best, we are together, love and nature. And look at the little flower pot here. I think that's super adorable. You can do so much with that. Of course, more butterflies. I have not seen these before, but you can actually use these to trace trace them onto something else and color them in and make them your own. And it has this smaller one in here, it's just like a two layered 3D kind of thing. So you can trace the, the small piece here and also the large piece and make your own decoration. So that, that's a good way to use these as templates. Same thing with this. I would use this as a template, that little house, the birdhouse. I think that would be cute or even a tag. So think about using these as templates. Look at this. These hearts are adorable. And this has a little pop-up on it. All of these have pop-ups. So I love these, the dimension that you can get with these. And you can mix and match them. Those envelope flip books would be perfect for this. This just inspires me, just looking at all of these colors, especially this right here. So adorable. So Dollar Tree is really stepping it up in that sticker section. These I had not seen before, but I do want to do some boy inspired um, or masculine inspired cards. And so I think these will be perfect. Really cute. And here's more with nature, birds. The bird with the heart is really cute. And for me, just seeing this, like with this little 
It's got like a little bit of pink and purple and blue together. This will be nice on a card. Just get all your pink and blue and, and purple papers and just start building your card from that. Nice thank you card you can do with this one too. But everything birds. You can make cute little gift tags with these too. Or you can just add some uh, pearls or some of those pearl stickers or the little pearl um, gems. Those little gems, sparkly gems you can put on here too. And that just gives you a whole nother, a whole nother idea. Let me just move these out of the way. Look at this. How adorable is this? I have not seen this, but I our Dollar Tree just completely revamped itself. So I might do a live. Me and Bill will go by there to show you how they the new setup because I'm kind of lost in there, that which is why I hadn't been in there. Because they just kept moving stuff around. But now that it's they're starting to put out even more products, so it's a, a much, much bigger Dollar Tree than it than it used to be. So look at this, all the flowers in different different colors. And look at this, see it has the button in there, but I would take another button, a real button, and just pop it right on there and make it even more fun. Just some of the things you can do. Embellish your cards with these once again. So a lot of times if you don't want to make your stuff and you kind of want to do a shortcut, just use some of these. Here's another one. I fell in love with this one especially this right here. Love, live, laugh. I love that because it's just like a little little dresser, a little nightstand. So cute. And this is home sweet home. Family is everything. I love this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. I see a gift idea. Making something with, and the, and the colors are just so pretty. So pulling all those colors together and the little lamp, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I've got an idea for this. Here's another one. I mean, really, they had a nice selection of stickers in there. I like this right here because I think I can trace that. See that? That's really cute. It's like a wall hanging and you can like trace it and make something else out of it. I'm loving that. This too can be traced and now you've got something else to make an embellishment. So these are pretty, these are pretty firm, they're pretty thick. So these are nice for using as embellishments as well. Okay, and let's see what else we got here. Now, I had not seen this before, this brand. It's called My Plan My Way. I don't know if anyone else has seen it, but look how adorable that is. These are um, magnetic bookmarks. Isn't this the cutest thing? Oh, my goodness. Let me show you what that looks like. Girl Boss, polka dots, and flowers. I haven't seen these before, so I'm thinking there was only a few um, of this brand, but I really like it. And it looked like it says Three Birds Studio. I think that's what it says. Three Birds Studio Design. Never saw these before, so leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen these at Dollar Tree, because I have never seen these. This is the same company, My Plan My Way. So these are planner stickers, but I would use these in some of my um, mini books or um, mini albums. So cute. This is awesome. Got the flowers, the hearts. Love this. You got little arrows. Or you can use these for your calendar. Special day, beautiful, remember. I love these. So I got two of them. Best day ever. I love that one. And then I found this wall hook. It says it holds up to 12 pounds. It says sawtooth hanger. Love that. It's a wall hook crochet mural. And it has a little um, 
a little hanging thing in the back too so I like this I don't know it reminds me of paint that's been spilled to me that's what it looks like so it looks real artsy so I may end up hanging that somewhere in my craft room and then I had to get this one in the blue but I've never seen these before this was something new so I'm gonna use these I like them and they're pretty sturdy and they've got look like a shininess to it see if you can see that yep so I'm, I'm loving those okay so then I went to Ollie's and just looked around of course right <laughs> if that's such a thing and I found these packs of envelopes now it's 10 envelopes uh, and they were 99 cents at Ollie's and these are five by seven envelopes but I love that shade of blue Look how pretty that is. So I just got two of them. Now that I'm making a lot of those envelope flip books, I thought this would be nice to add to my stash. So lots of different things you can find at Ollie's. And then I saw this too. This is, um, these are like longer envelopes. These are nine by three eighths, uh, nine and three eighths by four and one eighth. And it says Euro style flaps. So I am really looking forward to using these because I can see myself doing maybe something because it's red. I can do something maybe holiday inspired, make some type of flip book for the holidays, gift giving. I mean, I know it's not Christmas yet, but before we know it, Christmas will be like six months away. Okay, so not too much from Ollie's, but I'm still glad I went in there because I found some paper. Oh, and this, this envelope right here was 59 cents. So they really have some good markdowns. 10 envelopes for 59 cents to add to my stash. I'm good, that's good. Okay, so I found some Nina paper. And this is, let's see if it'll give me the weight. It's pretty firm. It says 24 pound writing, but it seems pretty sturdy. I feel like I could use it for something else. Um, these are $1.99, 25 sheets, one-sided. Oh yeah, I can use this. I'll, I would use this to decorate my cards with. And so it looks like it has some of the polka dots. I have some of this paper, but not this um, kind of zigzag paper. So I really like that. And then I found these right here. And I had to get two of these just because they were, um, I could use these for making cards for the holidays, coming up 4th of July, or um, you can use these for Veterans Day, make something I know people make cards for soldiers all the time. So I think these would be really cute. So they're just one sided. The other side doesn't have it, but this red, white, and blue is going to be awesome. And then this one is a blue in here. It looks kind of like a denim. So the nice thing is you can mix and match and layer a lot of the polka dot with just the red, blue with just the, um, polka dot blue like a real deep blue so a lot of male inspired cards with this too so that's all I have I hope this inspired you I'm super excited to use these and add them to my my paper stash and my collection and I will see you real soon don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel bye <laughs>